Here's how we made a budget vinyl rug for our dining room. I've been loving the vintage inspired vinyl rugs I see online, but I don't love the price over $700 after tax and still not to the measurements we need. So we headed to the hardware store. Most of these stores are gonna have vinyl on a roll and you can cut it to the width or the length that you need. So you can pick out different patterns to get whatever look you're wanting. Each store will have different patterns, so go online and check out what the options are. The price of the vinyl will depend on how much padding there is. We wound up going with the more expensive option because that was the pattern we wanted. Once they cut it for us, they wrapped it up so it was easy to transport back home. Once we were back home, I just used some sharp scissors to cut it to the exact measurements that we needed for the dining room. I cut holes to work around our floor vents, which aren't the most convenient, but it's an old house. And I cut around the return air in the room. We picked this pattern because it had a little bit of a vintage feel, but the black and white would be easy to decorate around. I like the look of rugs under dining tables, but wasn't sure how I'd keep a traditional one clean with a toddler, so this is easy to sweep, vacuum, and mop. It also protects our 78 year old wood floors, which need to be refinished, but we're not ready to take on that project yet. We love the way that the rug looks. I also love that it's so easy to keep clean, protects our floors, and the best part, it's not over $700. Hello, I'm here to answer some questions about my last video, which was the DIY vinyl rug video. Um, a couple of things. If you will read my original caption on that video, that might answer some of your questions. So go check that out. And then in the comments, your question has probably already been asked several times and I've probably answered it. So you can go check that out. I'll see if I can try to hit what I can in this. If I don't have answers for you, I'm going to tell you where to go find the answers that you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is talk about the specific vinyl that we bought. Here is a piece of it. This is from Lowe's. It is the Stain Master brand. So that's going to affect a lot of these answers because every vinyl is gonna be different. So first of all, price. At the time that we bought this, this is one of the most expensive ones because it has a Stain Master name, which comes with certain guarantees and certain kind of warranty things. Um, also, it had the most padding, which is, we picked it out because of the pattern and because of the padding. So that's gonna affect a lot of things. So what you need to do is you need to go into your local store or even you can go online, pick out the vinyl pattern you like, pick out the padding that you're looking for. It will tell you the price. It probably will even have a calculator where you can put in how much you need to cut. It will calculate, calculate the price for you. I can't really tell you a price. I can tell you in the caption of that video what we paid, but I can't tell you what it's gonna cost you. It's gonna differ from store to store, probably from even what state, part of the country you live in, and what vinyl you pick out. So if you wanna know how much it's gonna cost, you need to go right to the source of where you're gonna get your vinyl. Um, people, the number two question I got was, how did I finish the edges? So here is an edge cut with really sharp craft scissors. I think they're Fisker scissors. Um, we left it because I liked the look of a clean cut rug. If you wanted to finish it out or if you got a vinyl that wasn't as high quality and you thought it might curl or tear, you can buy plastic or rubber um, edging and you can get it on Amazon. You can buy it at a flooring store. We didn't find it at Lowe's or Home Depot, but it's basically like a threshold trim. It comes in different heights, different types of variations. So you will have to look and see what you need for what flooring you have. Some people mentioned tape, but tape would curl up. I'm not going to tape this to my floor, but they mentioned tape at the top. I didn't want anything that would not wear well. And so we decided not to finish it, but if you needed to, I would check into actual professional threshold trim and check that out. Um, and now I'm gonna have to do a part two because there's more questions and I couldn't get to all of it. All right, so here is part two of answering your questions about the DIY final vinyl rug. Um, the other question that was asked a lot was, what is the bottom? Do I have to glue it to my floor? How do I keep it from curling up? Well, as you can see, this is not curling up. If anything, it's curling the opposite direction. It has a lot of padding, so it lays flat. It's heavy. Um, this is just 
it it doesn't need to be glued down. You might be thinking about vinyl from like 30 years ago, which was very different from what you can, the options that we have today. So we didn't do anything. We have almost 80 year old wood floors. Um, it's not gonna hurt it. I can't tell you if it's gonna hurt your, your wood floor. You need to check with the flooring professional where you buy your flooring. They can tell you if it's safe or not. I don't know what it's gonna look like on carpet. We don't have any carpet in our house. I don't know how it will wear with pets. We don't have any pets. Um, I don't know, like ours is not going to shift. That was a question asked because we have a really heavy dining table on top. So ours doesn't move around. I don't know if it's going to move around in your house because I don't know what you're putting on top of it. Um, this particular one had a guarantee where it would not tear. So you could set chairs and tables and things on it and it wouldn't tear the vinyl. Again, it's all dependent on the type of vinyl that you pick out, but this one was guaranteed. Um, to last a lot longer than what we think of when we think of like 70s, 80s, 90s vinyl. So it's all going to depend on the quality that you buy. Um, but again, I can only tell you about this. I can only tell you about my floor. And I can only tell you about the circumstances that we're in. So how do you get those questions answered about pets and flooring and all of that? You ask the person that you're buying it from, but also just go online and read the reviews. So I went online to Lowe's.com before I bought this. I went to this particular one I wanted. I read the reviews. It had really good reviews. Nobody was using it like a rug like I was at the time, but they could answer, does it tear? Do holes come through it? Is it easy to clean? This one's Stain Master, so it's supposed to be really good about um, not staining very easily. So you need to go online, read the reviews, go online to calculate your price, go online to see what options that you have, or just go in store and ask questions of the people that work there. So I really hope this helped. I'm sorry I don't have all the answers, but I don't have um, all of the circumstances that you need, like the pets and the flooring and all of those things. But you can go and find those things out in person um, or just go to the product online read the reviews. Thanks for all your comments on the video. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I'm glad that it's giving you some ideas. Leave comments here to help each other out and you can maybe answer those questions for each other. Bye guys.